Hello everyone, I am Kendrick Cetina and I'm going to present the work of my colleague Nuria Garcia and I, FRE at Social Disney, Joint Learning of Language Models for Name Entity Recognition, for the automatic extraction of disease mentions from tweets in Spanish as part of the Social Disney Challenge within the 2022 Social Media Mining for Health Application Share Task. First, a quick task description. Social Media Mining for Health Applications Workshop offers the opportunity to develop NLP systems for automatic extractions of relevant knowledge from social media data. And the aim is to use social media as a proxy to better understand societal perception of diseases from rare immunological and genetic diseases. Here we can see uh, a table of the name entity recognition of diseases in tweets written in Spanish. We can see the input, which is a tweet in Spanish, and the expected prediction from, for the challenge, which is a label, diseases, and the start and the end of the entity, and the span of the entity. Now a, a quick uh, description of our system as an overview. The summary of our system is the following. First, we search the two best performing pre-trained language models for our task. And then we use the data augmentation techniques to extend the initial training data and fine tune the selected language models with the joint learning ensemble approach described in Garcia Santa et al. And finally, by qualitative analysis of results, we clean the model predictions with post-processing techniques. Now we will go in detail over each step. The first one is the pre-trained language model selection. We used hugging phase model hub to search for fill mask and token classification models suitable for Spanish name entity recognition of diseases. And we tested 15 pre-trained bird based language models, including BioBird, Roberta, Multilingual Bird and Distilled Bird. And after analysis, we came up with the two highest performing models to be used in our joint learning approach. And the models are <clears throat> Sinai, a Roberta based model from Sinai team at the disease text mining share task in 2022 and BSC BioS model from Barcelona Supercomputing Center. This is also a Roberta based model trained on biomedical corpus in Spanish. Next in our system description, uh, data augmentation techniques. We use the challenge training set data's input to fine tune a GPT-2 model for 10, 10 epochs. And then we use 1000 random noun chunks from the provided, provided Twitter data to generate sentences of 150 words with the fine tune GPT-2 model. Next, we use pattern matching with known entities to tag the diseases in the generated text. Here we can see uh, the per performance of the data augmentation techniques. This plot shows the selected, selected models performance during our trainings, and we compare the performance with and without data augmented. The plots red and blue are trainings without augmented data and we can see uh, in the plots green and purple that the models trained with augmented data improve their initial performance. Now our joint learning approach. Uh, we use the approach described in Garcia Santa and Stina in 2021 for the joint learning of our selected best performance models. These are Sinai and BS, BC, BSC BIOS. This joint learning architecture comprises language models as subnetworks concatenated to form a larger network. And the subnetworks learn together the best combined classification, retrieving an ensemble model. This architecture allows weight update of language models subnetwork jointly. Finally, after a qualitative assessment of the predictions of the model, uh, we decided to implement a post-processing 
common, common to all predictions made. This post-processing includes the cleaning of predicted entities by removal of emojis and hashtags and concatenation of consecutive entities predictive as two different entities. During the practice phase, we obtained strict F1 scores and of 0 0.84 with our joint learning model, fine-tuned with augmented data, and 0 0.87 with our joint learning model augmented data and also post-processing. The, the final result submitted, we uh, submitted two sets of predicted data. Submission one consisted of joint learning model predictions with our post-processing and cleaning. And submission two consisted of the joint learning model predictions without any kind of post-processing. And the final results, the highest result is a strict F score of 0 0.738. So conclusion of our work, our system focused on the fine tuning of two Roberta based language models together with our joint learning approach for disease mentioned detection tags in Spanish tweets. And we use GPT-2 to extend the training data and the combining of the joint learning and augmented data, our, syst our system achieved 0.87 F1 score in the practice phase of the challenge. And in our final results of the evaluation phase of the challenge, we achieved 0.73 and 0.74 strict F1 scores. Thank you very much for your attention.